Okay. What is your twin thinking about? What's on their mind? Do you know? What are you thinking about? What's on your mind? You know, your your thoughts are not neutral uh, little ideas that pop and roll through your head. Uh, they are everything that you're experiencing. All of your experience and everything that you're seeing is a result of your thoughts. But there's no exception to this. This is how the universe works. This is how life works. So you can either like get on board with that or, you know, choose to keep going in the very, very wrong direction that you might be still doing. And that's okay too. Because either way, uh, you'll learn something eventually. So every thought that you have contributes to truth or illusion. Uh, either your thoughts extend the truth uh, and you could you could tell that happening by um, you know when you have thoughts about your twin, uh, real true thoughts about uh, love and unconditional love and, and uh, being together and um, you know being in being in union, those thoughts extend the truth that is, you know, in your heart. And when you have thoughts of uh, fear or illusion, as anyone knows on this journey, they snowball into quite a catastrophic mess. So, like, you could, you, you know, one minute you're like, hey, everything's great, you know? And then the next minute, you're like, you have this thought that, oh shit, like, what if, what if this happens? What if, what if my twin blah, blah, blah? And then you grab a hold of that thought and anybody knows you could, you could be in frown town in a very big way, uh, almost immediately. Like, that's just how it happens. You, you either are you know, putting your energy behind the truth or you're putting your energy behind illusion, either way, it extends both of those things. It's, it starts to create uh, on both of those levels. So uh, it's your job to recognize that every thought that you have either either like contributes to love or contributes to fear. Um, there's there's really no exception to this. Any, any uh, point throughout the day, you are either, um, you know, recognizing that your thoughts that are going through your head are either, uh, and not all at the same time, but, you know, one after another, you, you could feel that you're, you're thinking that this is contributing to love or this thought is contributing to fear. And it's your job to uh, seek out these these thoughts that are occurring in within yourself uh, that are contributing to fear and heal them. You know, change change that thought. And there's like such a a temptation to, um, you know, take that that fear based thought and just like push it away and just be like, you know, bury it. Or, or just like disregard it altogether, um, you know, that it's not worth your time or not worth looking at, or that it's just really unimportant or trivial because you don't want that thought. You, you, you certainly don't, right? That's not something that you want to create, and you, and you certainly don't want to like be thinking negative things, uh, especially about your twin. But um, it's still equally destructive because you are, instead of facing it, instead of standing up to that uh, fear-based thought and really getting to the root of it and understanding why you have that fear-based thought, you're just burying it. 
and pushing it way down. And it was already put buried. It was already pushed way down. And it was, you know, coming to the surface to be brought to your attention so you could handle it. Um, so instead of pushing it down, you face it. And you recognize it for what it is. You recognize it for a lie. You recognize it for an illusion. Right? So, like, it's, it's a very good practice to... Um, take a few minutes, maybe each day, maybe whenever you have time, and just uh, maybe close your eyes and just observe the thoughts that are going through your head. Recognize, you know, what thoughts you have that are contributing to love and what thoughts that you have going through your head that are contributing to fear and handling them, right? So visit asoneguidance.com. Um, you know, check out coaching sessions and how I can help you along this journey uh, to finding true love and, and getting to your destination where you want to be. Uh, and also, you know, if, if you need a uh, little extra support in understanding the foundational aspects of unconditional love, uh, check out my e-course and, you know, you could go down below in the description box and all the links are there for my website and anything else that you may have questions about. And I will talk to you next time.